Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. i um, going to be talking about toothpaste for dogs today. Just want to share it. This is one of my favorites. I use a lot of different brands of doggy toothpaste for my beautiful Doberman Pinscher, who is none other than my beautiful beauty assistant. A lot of you are familiar with him. You ask about him. I thank you for asking about him. I think that's great. Um, Anyhow, I want to talk about this. This is just one of my favorites and one of his favorites. It works better. It's more effective. It, it's, it just works. It works so much better. It freshens up his breath. It cleans up his teeth. It helps with the plaque buildup. And uh, he loves the flavor of it. He loves it. He really doesn't love me to brush his teeth. I mean, I don't know literally what dog loves to have their teeth brushed. If your dog loves to have your teeth brushed, like, how did you train your dog? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, I have this big red Doberman Pinscher, and he does not really like me to brush his teeth, but he tolerates it. You know what I mean? Uh, he kind of runs from me a little bit, a little bit of a cat and mouse game and all that. But he does love the flavor. Once we get going with this, he absolutely loves the flavor of it. And then he wants to just lick, lick, lick it, lick it, lick it. And even after I'm done brushing his teeth, he wants to try to continue to lick at the toothbrush. Um, you know, while I'm on the way to go cleanse his toothbrush, he's wanting to lick it, you know. Um, okay, so this is by the brand. I guess this is, it's V-I-R-B-A-C. I don't know how to say it. Varbac, Varbac. Uh, this is the CET formula, enzymatic toothpaste, and it says it's for cats too. I don't have experience with using it for cats. Uh, I don't use it on my cat because he has a lot of medical problems, and I try to avoid a lot of things with my cat, um, and can do more with my dog than I can my cat because just he's he's as an illness okay anyhow we don't want to talk about that though that's not only as depressing but it takes a long time to talk about that i can only tell you how this works for dogs big dog government pincher he absolutely loves it and honestly comparing this to other toothpaste for dogs he is one of his favorites there has been some before that i have bought that are real minty flavored he doesn't like anything real minty or spearminty or minty flavors and you think about it why in the world would they make dog toothpaste that's spearminty and minty they're not humans you know what i mean why it just kind of makes no sense to me but i noticed that he really dislikes those greatly he loves this flavor this is the beef flavor i rebuy it all the time i repurchase it all the time sometimes the tube will expire go old and then when it gets to the expiration date i will toss it and buy more um, I believe I buy it like at PetFlow, Chewy.com, places like that. So it's pretty readily available. I will link it up at the down, down bar below. I want to show you the box real quick because I want to show you the ingredients. So I, I want you to know what you're getting. Can we see any of that? Literally? Seriously? No, wait a minute. That's not even English. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's try the other side. Okay, can you see? My cat's eating in the background, you guys. That's not me munching. Uh, that's not me crunching. Actually, you will hear uh, my cat's eating. He's loud. He, Like I said, he has medical problems, so he's super loud eater. You'll hear him eating and gulping in the background. He's a few feet away from me. And um, I, can, I have a new washing machine. It's not super quiet, but it's not loud. You could probably hear it. But anyhow, that's the ingredients. Finally got, finally got the right side of the box here. Can you see? Okay, hopefully you can. Um, I find it a pretty nice, healthy alternative for dogs. I don't really see anything that jumps out at me, you know, that's bad. I mean, obviously, and I don't think you would find this. If something is labeled for dog usage, I don't think you would find anything toxic in it. You know, like uh, xylitrol is toxic. Keep the human toothpaste away from dogs, you guys. Keep it away from dogs and pets because the xylitrol is very toxic to dogs and probably toxicity to cats as well. Keep it away from your pets. Um, I know that I had a little Pekingese one time that wanted to chew on tubes of toothpaste. Literally, literally she wanted to do that. But anyhow, um, so keep the xylitrol away from dogs. Keep the human ingredients away from dogs. I mean, even though you see some, some risky recommendations on YouTube, 
just don't use the human products on dogs, okay? It's not good for them. It's toxic to them. You can make them sick. If not, it might even be fatal. So, and I'm a huge dog lover. You guys know this. I volunteer at animal shelters and rescue organizations, rescue groups. I've done it forever. Not only do I volunteer my time and my effort and my muscle, I give, I donate my money as well. So I really love dogs, cats, pets, creatures, living animals. I love that. And my dog loves this stuff. So I just highly, highly recommend it. Love it. I love you guys. I thank you for watching. I take care. Um, I hope you take care. I take care too. Does that make sense? It just hit me right when I said that though. I'm like, hmm, should I show you what this looks like? It has like a brown looking, nasty looking texture to it. I don't know if you could see. Can you see? It has this really, mm -hmm, this really funny looking texture to it.